For diagnostic 3D in this case, good scanning skills are very, very required. In case of the fetal spine, examiner should check at the beginning the position of the fetal spine in transverse view. See how we have the position at the moment. And in this case, the spine in axial view of the fetal trunk is at the 9 o'clock position. So what I will do now, I will change the application point of my transducer to insonate directly to the spine. See my maneuver on the patient's belly. I'm bringing the, the spine exactly at the 12 o'clock position. This assures me that uh, my rotation, which will bring me to the sagittal view of the spine, will be precise. I'll do the rotation now, so I will turn the, the transducer 90 degrees. Here you can see it. This is the rotation down. And this is the original plane for the acquisition. There are two ways. You can do the static acquisition and dynamic one. I will start with static 3D. I select 3D for that. And uh, I'll go to the sectional planes. I'll check if the, if the fetus is quiet at the moment. And I release the acquisition trigger. This is the spine acquired by static 3D. I will make some orientation. To do that, I will use the line of the spine in A and in C. I will select volume contrast imaging. I'll go to V because this will enhance my B and C plane. Then I will bring in the reference image B here my pivot point to the level of one of the fetal trunks. Here you have. Then I will rotate it a bit to see the line of the spine in A and in C. It requires some correction in C. When, when the spine is in line in C and in A, then we can, we can perform the rendering. Let's try how it goes. From the multiplier, I switch to render now. I need to reduce the size of the, of the rendering box, which is displayed here, because when I make it smaller, it will be more readable. And the result is seen here. So this is the fully rendered image of the fetal spine, and by rotation, you can review it. This is the first method. You can change the layer of your, of your rendering, and you can go, go directly to the level of the, of the fetal trunks, or you go more superficial to the lamina, and here you can see these two ossification points. Let's try to perform the dynamic acquisition. I need to identify the plane from the very beginning. The dynamic technique is more often used when the fetus is active. That you can see here now. If, uh, if it is still, 3D static acquisition is superior because it has better resolution. Now, let's try to make the dynamic one. I will select the, the viewing option and the acquisition option, VCI OmniView. This is D. And here, I will change the line into the, the curve line. And by curve line, I will, I will place one of the edges at the end of the spine and the other one at the beginning. The third one will be in the middle. I need to increase the, the slice thickness for my rendering to about 20 millimeters and if we are ready we can start it. 
here you can see the Omni view. This is this, the fetal spine in motion. This is different. It has the advantages that the, you, can, you can see the spine in motion. You can move the transducer to the lowest part of the spine or to the highest parts. This is the difference between static and dynamic acquisition for the fetal spine.